guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be another edition of dope or nope so if you haven't seen a dope or nope video before it's basically where i take one product and i review it and decide if it's dope or nope. <laughs> so today's video, um, I'm actually going to do the Kat Von D tattoo liner. Now this was requested by a subby of mine, so I was like, hey girl, I got you. I am happy to help. So this will be also a first impressions because I haven't used this before. Now um, I'm just going to test, you know, basic winged eyeliner, go and see how smoothly it applies, and also, you know, the coverage, stuff like that. Also, before we get started, if you're new here, girl, you gotta subscribe. I don't know what you're waiting for. You don't wanna miss all the notifications for my new videos. And for the rest of you guys, hey, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. It also helps me figure out what kind of content you guys like best so I can keep producing them and banging them out on my channel for you. So without any ado, um, I'm just gonna give you guys kind of like the gist, a little intro about the product, and then I'm gonna bring you guys close and personal and we can apply this eyeliner. So the full size product actually retails on Sephora.com for $20 US. Now I got this smaller size which is uh, 0.2 milliliters and this came in my Sephora plate box. So um, you know it does have a nice precision tip. I will show you guys that which is pretty awesome so I'm thinking you should be able to make a nice sharp winged eyeliner with that. I'm excited to test that out. And also on the Sephora.com website it does rank for 4 out of 5 stars so you know I got, I got some high hopes for this. I uh, got my fingers crossed so I'm going to bring you guys close and we'll get this party started. Okay, so now that you're all zoomed in, you can see how sharp this little point is here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start applying. Oh my gosh. All right, it's not looking good. This thing is like totally dry. Look, look at me trying to apply it. Oh, oh, okay. Now we're getting somewhere, but now this liner is messed up. Okay, so I kind of had to scribble this liner on like some paper first because it was really, really, really dried up. I'm doing this real time so you guys can tell if you get a liner that's really dried up, just, you know, try dabbing it on some paper first to get it going. Round two. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is my first wing. I'm just gonna tell you right now, this eyeliner is not the easiest to work with. I My favorite one is the uh, NYC, that's just called the NYC um, liquid liner with just the brush and that one is so easy, so smooth. Compared to that, this, you know, when I would go to make the light delicate strokes for my wing it would skip and that's why I ended up with this fatter you know cat eye and so you know I can salvage it but for someone who's normally a little bit better this is kind of frustrating because the pen doesn't really want to cooperate with your strokes you know what I mean it's just kind of dry and when you go in for a light like to get that flick at the end you know it's just it just skips and I don't like that if I wanted to have a thin you know precise tip I should be able to do that without any problem so I'm gonna try it on the other eye hopefully I get better results Lost in space, 
Okay guys, so here's a close up of my wing. Now I'm really frustrated with this pen. I don't like it because it is so hard to work with. Now you see this one didn't turn out too bad, but it's like every time I would go to lay this down on my skin, it would just skip or I would have to swirl it on a piece of paper and you know um, just try to like make it work so I'm really disappointed with this because I just had such high hopes um, I'm going to just zoom you guys out and then we'll just get to talking about this a little bit more in depth okay so now that we're zoomed out um, you know here's my final verdict personally just my little humble opinion I don't think that this eyeliner is worth the $20. Assuming that I didn't get a defective liner, I just feel like that tip for how precise it is should just shoot out that wing liner nice and easily. I just felt like I constantly had to swirl it on this piece of paper slash cardboard. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So I just had this thing right here, <laughs> the back of a little, you know, toy set, and I was swirling it on like this to get it to work. Now on the back here, it comes out nice. And then I would go to do that on my skin, just get that nice flick, and it would just skip like crazy. So I just don't understand. If you guys have this liner and you get different results, Please let me know because it's so frustrating. I worked really hard to harness my liner skills and to just have them uneven and just, you know, not going on smoothly. I just, I can't. <laughs> but I will say that compared to my favorite eyeliner, the NYC, um, I think it's the liquid black one, that's like $3 at the drugstore. I mean, compared to the $20 one, you know, obviously there's a clear winner here. So my vote is that it's a big nope for me, but I'm curious, I want to hear all of your guys' opinions. You know, let me know if you've had any issues or if you guys love this liner or if there can be anything done to remedy this, you might help somebody else. <laughs> Don't forget to tune into tomorrow's video. It will be up live on my channel at 12 Pacific Standard Time and don't forget to check out some of these videos that I've got here for you guys. These are videos that I've uploaded this week. I got some pretty fun content up so don't forget to check them out and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!